Hello and welcome to Better Guns and Gear. Today I will be doing a gear review. The gear review is going to be on this chow pack here, aka lunchbox. But it's not just any lunchbox. This is a lunchbox that attaches to Molly webbing. So uh, if you guys or girls are like me, and you own a, a backpack, uh, whether it's 511, Mill Spec Monkey, or all, any of the other various uh, backpacks out there. You know, there are tons of vendors out there that make these packs with uh, molly straps. This is a launch box that uh, attaches to those type of uh, packs. Me personally, I own a uh, 511 Tactical Rush 24 pack. And stay tuned, uh, subscribe to the channel. I will be doing a in-depth review on that pack. I'm currently kind of building it out with uh, EDC material. So stay tuned to the channel, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss uh, the videos that I'll be dropping. All right, let's get back into this. Uh, just giving you guys a uh, 360 view. This is the rear or the back of the uh, launch pack. It is reinforced. As a matter of fact, this is the only reinforced portion of this pack. This is the left side of the pack. This is the front of the pack and you guys have to bear with me. I'm working with one hand right now. Here's the front of the pack. Uh, there is some type of uh, netting or a web pocket here. And this is elastic. It's secured by elastic. Uh, personally, if they were going to put a pocket here, uh, which is kind of one of the cons, but if they're, it's a con and it's kind of preference since the pocket is here. But uh, if they were going to put a pocket here, I wish it was secured with a zipper. So um, that's kind of diving into. Uh, I guess we'll hit the cons first, but uh, this is the front pocket and it's secure with a uh, very cheap uh, elastic. Here's the right side of the pouch. This is the top of the pouch, what it looks like from the top. It has a uh, carry handle here, as you can see, which is another con to me about this pouch. Uh, if you take a look at this handle really closely, this handle, it's adjustable. That's good. That's not the uh, con. The con is you cannot remove this handle. It is fixed to this bag. And to me, that is just, uh, it's poor designing. You know, it's bad designing. Um, I didn't mention it, but uh, again, this uh, lunch pack here, it's called a chow pack. I purchased this from Military Luggage Company. It is a company out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. I'm gonna unzip it, show you guys what the inside of the pack look like. Um, again, this is a gear review. I really take no pleasure in um, bashing or, you know, talking down about a on a gear review. It's not fun, but... I'm sure you guys and girls know that I try to be honest and uh, fair and unbiased with my gear reviews, and I'm sure that's why a lot of you tune in. So, um, again, I've already hit, this is what the inside of the pack looks like. It's insulated, but um, the insulation, it's not that great. It's really flimsy. Um, and again, I, as I mentioned, the only portion of this pack that's reinforced is the back side of the pack. You know, so it just collapses if you put your launch in there. It doesn't really hold a shape or anything. And it's really big, so um, that's another one of my, um, you know, cons about this pouch here or this chow pack. It's really big, so by the time you get it attached to your bag on your Molly webbing, this pack, uh, it extends out, it bulges out, and you look pretty crazy rolling around with a pack so big or a uh, lunchbox so big attached to your pack. Uh, let's talk about price. Uh, this 
chow pack here. Again, it came from Military Luggage Company. Uh, item number is AU-UMB-LP-BLK. And the name of it is called Black Insulated Chow Pack. The price on this was $19.95 for the pack itself. And it costs $7.35 for shipping. So a grand total out the door, it was $27.30. This pack here, you know, again, I purchased it. I tried it. I wanted to like it, but I couldn't like it. So um, I've already sold this pack to a uh, buddy of mine for half of what I have in it. And I'm going to keep looking around. So uh, do stay tuned. I'm sure a lot of you guys are like me and... Um, have desired for to have some type of uh, lunch pail. You know, if you're military, law enforcement, me personally, I am ex-military. So um, I've always desired to, you know, have the ability to carry my lunch on the molly strap or webbing, you know, versus sticking it inside of a hot pack, you know, inside of my backpack or whatever. That's already hot. So, um, there is not a big market out there currently for this, and I'm sure the market will pick up, but um, like I said, this was something I was very interested in, and I guess for $20, you know, or $19.95, you kind of, it goes with the adage, you get what you pay for, but uh, stick around, in the end of this video, I will be uh, mounting this chow pack slash aka lunchbox to my uh, 511 tactical rush 24 bag just so you guys could you know have an idea what it would look like on your uh on your molly bag so um i mean some of you guys and girls might be interested in it but me personally i wasn't all that interested after trying it out because, like I said, just to recap the insulation, it's very thin. Um, it did keep the lunch cold, but only for approximately two hours or so. And if you're going to purchase this, I definitely uh, recommend using ice packs. You know, drop an ice pack in the bottom, maybe put your lunch in there, and uh, set another ice pack on top. And it'll yield uh, a lot more favorable results than not putting an ice pack in this at all so that's just a recommendation if you are interested in purchasing this and um, let's see just to recap on uh, the cons um, it's very thin not very much padding at all you know it's very flimsy also um, the bag is very big it doesn't look good you know it doesn't lend itself very well because of the size once you attach it to the pouch. This here, this is more of personal preference, but if if you're gonna put a pouch or a pocket on the pack, you know, make it a little more durable. I personally would have preferred to see a zipper pocket here because anything you put in here, if your pack falls sideways, this elastic is very poor, very flimsy and everything just falls out of this pocket here so that was um that was a negative for me i personally you know the pocket really isn't even necessary i would have preferred to see maybe a uh, velcro hook and loop type patch set up here or just velcro so you can uh put your morale patches name tapes or what have you because again with this pouch being as big as it is this lunch sack being as big as it is it covers up your your name tape and you know other various patches that you might have displayed on your you know rucksack or your 511 molly pack or you know whatever molly pack you're running with the size of this lunch pail it just covers up a lot so personally i would have preferred to see maybe again like i say some type of velcro here uh let's see Okay, we covered that it's pretty bulky. Uh, oh, and the other big negative for me, huge negative is, um, again, you can't remove the straps here. They're fixed. This strap is fixed, and it just really gets in the way. So that's a big negative for me. 
options are great you know it's good that they put a strap on here but it would have been even better had they made it removable that way if you're running it on your you know your rucksack or your 511 pack or mil spec monkey pack you'd have the ability to remove the strap so that would you know had this been removable it would have been perfect so that's about all of the cons that I have on this, uh, I guess there is one pro. Uh, the fit and finish of uh, the way you secure this to your Molly uh, straps, this is awesome. You know, this, uh, these buttons here and the straps, they, you, you just run them right through your Molly and uh, snap it in place and you're good to go. This isn't going anywhere. The lockup is real solid. And again, this backside here, it's reinforced. So that, if there was uh, any cons to this pouch here, I'd say the way it secures to your pack, it's really secure. It's really secure. So that was never an issue. I ran this pouch for about two weeks. Again, I tried to like it, but uh, I just couldn't find a lot of favor with it. So... Um, on a per more personal note, with uh, the Military Luggage Company, I'm not knocking them as a company. Military Luggage Company is a great company. I've ordered items from them before in the past. It's just this particular product that I'm not fond of and I'm getting rid of. So uh, that's my review. But back to mil the Military Company, um, when I was making a purchase, this time around they were asking, uh, they were you know, doing some building and questioning on the phone, asking, do you know anybody that's military or are you ex-military? You know, we just got into a little bit of a conversation and, uh, you know, because I was inquiring about the pack and, you know, I said, yeah, I'm ex-military. As many of you know, I am prior service. I served in the Army. I'm a Gulf War veteran. So um, it was pretty cool. They actually threw in a pack of this coffee here. Uh, it's uh, Stand Your Ground Coffee. It's military luggage company, and uh, this is a fair trade organic coffee. So I thought that was a pretty awesome touch. And they went the extra mile, and on my actual receipt, they um, actually wrote a handwritten letter just saying thank you for your service. So, you know, kudos and a big hoorah to military luggage company. That was pretty awesome. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up my review. Uh, stay, Stick around because I am going to roll in at the very end of this video, which is coming up here in a few seconds. You will get to see what this uh, chow pack looks like on my 511 tactical rucksack or backpack. Or, you know, I'm a civilian now, so I tend to just call it a backpack. But uh, stick around. You'll get to see that. And uh, if you found this video useful, please uh, give the channel a thumbs up. Please uh, like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps the channel. Better Guns and Gear signing out. Have a wonderful day. All right, Better Guns and Gear coming back at you. Here is a view of the Rush 24 pack with the Chow pack attached, as promised. So for me, it was just a tad bit too big. Uh, I don't know, you might desire this, but uh, this is what it looks like from the front. There's your view. And from the side, which are about the only two views that you'd really want or need to see concerning this. I threw a bunch of random stuff in here, so uh, I'll kind of show you the capacity you know, I put the stuff in there just so you'll have an idea of what the capacity looks like. And again, the strap is just completely in the way, but here we go. Bear with me, this is like some kind of balance and act here. So I threw some Oreos in there, threw the coffee in there. Couple cups of peaches. Hmm. 
mean, so the capacity, it's pretty deep and big capacity. Uh, there's a couple cans of Arizona tea. Bananas. So there you go. I mean, this might work for you. It might suit your purposes, but for me, it was just a tad bit too big. But I um, just want to give you guys and girls a uh, view of what this chow pack looks like uh, attached to your uh, Molly bag slash pack, day pack, 72 hour pack. There you go. Better Guns and Gear signing out out here.